Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so happy to have you either way. Today we have an AliExpress haul. Let's get started. All right, so in this first package here, we have a bunch of stuff. First thing that I see here are these adorable little mushrooms. Let's put them in a tray here. So these are what those look like. How cute is that? Like obviously they're huge and they're obnoxious, but they're so, so cute. So let's just put this on the nail. So as you can see, there's bigger charms out there. This is not the biggest, but really, really super cute. So happy to have that. And then looks like we have some of these pastel caviar beads. I've seen other people hauling these and I thought that they were so cute, especially for the spring summer season. So I think these are either one or 1.2 millimeter, which I thought would be really great for a crystal cluster. And then next we have this, it looks like a, an iridescent flake. Love that I have these that come along with them. I always make sure that I store them and use them for uh, pigments and stuff. So that is that, really, really, really beautiful. Okay. And then moving along, it looks like we have another similar one. But this one seems to be more on the like pink to green shift. Sorry. Oh gosh, really struggling to open this. Okay, so that is that. I don't know if you can see the shift from pink to green. I hope you can see it. But that one is that. And then what else do we have? Oh, sweet, another one. I love these things. I think that they're so great to amp up really any look. I have them inside this uh, shell nail here. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble focusing. Um, but yeah, so I have them kind of underneath so that you can see the iridescence. I hope that that makes sense what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, so I love using these flakes. You can use them with a nude nail. You can use them with a pink nail, blue nail, but it really, really, really just amps up the look. So that one is that. And then, oh, cool. So we have these little flowers, these iridescent flowers. So if you can see, they're similar to the ones that were really trendy last year, where you put the little, you put the little stone in the middle or the caviar bead, but these ones are just iridescent. So that is that. That is really cute because it'll take on any color nail that you put it beside. Super cool. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, so it looks like we have, I don't know if that's a flake or a chrome pigment, but let's open it up and see. Oh wow, look at that. That would be so beautiful burnished into a nail. Like you could also tap it on. Tap it on or burnish are my two favorite ways to use it. Um, even these ones here. Um, sometimes I put in a little bit of clear acrylic and that works well too. And it looks like we have another flake in here. I'm so happy to have more of these eyeshadow applicators. They come in so handy. So I don't think that any of these are doubles. They all look different on my end. You guys would have to let me know if all four of these look different to you too. Um, but to me, I can see a clear distinction in it. Like this one here, it looks so much more on the purple side as the other one like looked more pink. Anyway, so I hope you can see the difference in them, but if you can't, just take my word for it. They're all different. Okay, and then this one here, this one is very similar to the one that I have on my nails now that I was using to do my nails most recently. But that is that, like how gorgeous. I hope you guys can see it. They're really, really so stunning. I buy these quite often. You've probably seen them in other hauls, but every time I see them, I try to pick them up because they're so, um, they come in so handy. And then in here, I don't remember exactly why I got these, but I'm sure it was for a reason. Uh, not really nail related, but these are some tarot card stickers. Not exactly the best quality, but they look all right. Um, nice to put in like on top of a book or your phone case or whatever. So that is that. And then next we have what looks like some pigments. I don't believe these are acrylic. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are just pigments. It came with a little thank you gift, which is a little glitter. If you could see, like nice iridescent. And then these are packaged nice so that they don't end up breaking in transit. I'm going to have to look these up because I like to buy the ones that you can use uh, for cosmetics also. Um, so I'm not sure if this one is, but I will link everything down below and then let you know. Um, but these are just pigments, I guess. Like This seems kind of like a glitter, so I don't know if this is just like a flake like these ones or what. Um, I'll let you know straight out of the gate. Like These are expensive. Like They're really expensive. I think this was like either $20. $20, I think, for this like large amount, but I just feel like I would use it a lot, especially in the um, in the fall season. And then we have this one, which is like a purple blue. Yeah, I'm almost positive this one is um, is um, cosmetic grade, meaning that you could use it on your eyes. And like imagine that as an eyeshadow. How pretty is that? I hope you can see the shift from blue to pink, purple. Just totally totally stunning and then this next one here is a gold one I think it's pink to gold yeah imagine that as an eyeshadow really super pretty I don't actually make eyeshadows like I'm I don't make any uh, color cosmetics or anything but I'm just interested in the concept of being able to okay now moving right along in this giant package here, I got two stamping plate books. Oh my God, I just saw. Look, they have hearts in the uh, bubble wrap. How cute. Okay, so I've been recently storing my plates in different books. I have a couple from Maniology and a few from Clear Jelly. And I thought that I would store all of my um, AliExpress plates in the same way. So we have this one here, which has this size of stamping plate. Like if you could see the rectangular one and then it has these bigger ones here. So let's see how many it holds. There's six on each side and then there's, oh my gosh, five. Wow. Okay. And then here there's four on each side and then yeah, five also. So that's really good. Um, not my full collection, but I did buy two of them. I can't remember exactly what this one was. I know it's not the same. So this one is purple and it has a zipper instead of a clasp and then it has these same ones which good because I have a whole bunch of them. It has these here where I could put like the larger ones like you know those really gigantic ones and then it has these mini ones here for the circular or square mini ones that you get. So four sheets on this side, four sheets on this side and then are there more? Yeah there's more on this side here too. So hopefully I'll have to go through my AliExpress um, stamping plate collection and see but this should be sufficient and then while I'm here I might as well show the one that I got that was a fail I had bought this one here like look how gross it came and I ended up making a dispute and um, they said that since I received it I couldn't ask for my money back and then I I talked to the seller and then they said that um like take a picture and then I sent a picture I don't know it was a whole big thing but anyways not sure what I'm gonna do with this because one it's busted up and two this both of these sides are all these square ones and I don't have a lot of these square ones so you see this one here whole bunch of pages for these square ones and then on this side here um more square ones so it's just a lot I know I could probably fight a little bit harder but I'm Canadian so we don't like to argue too much so if people tell you to stop contacting them you just kind of do it it's the way that we are it's our toxic trait I accept it okay so then I have these which are for that um that um drill bit that has the flat top and people use it for pedicure so I got a 180 I think I have a 240 um, but decided to get a 180 and then I got a few stamping plates, like even these, they came a little, it's fine, it's not a big deal. This one here is very peacock themed. So if you can see, you have all the peacock feathers. And then you have the peacocks. And this one is 2Joy Plus 031. Okay. And then we have this one here, which is a lot of different lace. The reason that I got it is because of this big lace picture here, which I thought would be good for any... Um, any length of nail and this one is two joy plus zero four nine 
And then this one here I got specifically for watercoloring. Um, so if you see like these flowers here, I thought these would be really great for watercolor. And this one is 2Joy plus 055. And then this little plate here, which is all leaves. And this one is DRDS L003. Okay, so that is that. Let's move on to the next package. Oh, okay. So recently I went on a bit of a dried flower kit and I don't think, I'm not sure if I posted the nails that I did with these dried flowers, but I just really like the look. And at this time of year, I'm almost always doing uh, milk bath nails. So we have this one here. This one is like more of a orangey reddish type of color. And then we have this nude color here. I have like a ridiculous amount of dried flowers and I actually bought, I can't remember how many was in it, but like a really, really, really huge bulk order um, of dried flowers. Um, so I'll show that to you guys when it comes in. And then we have this one here. So as you can see, like there's quite a few flowers here. Do you see that? Like I find when you buy the little grids, you get like two, maybe three of these in each little um, container. So I wanted to have um, a more bulk amount of it. And then we have this beautiful lilac here. Make sure that I'm opening it right so I don't get it all over the floor. So that is that beautiful lilac. And again, like you can see how many are in here. I don't know how much it was, if it was like 20 or what, but um, I remember it being a good price. So I decided to pick that up. And then let's move on to the next package. All right, so in this next package here, it looks like we have some nail tips, which I don't know why I bought nail tips. I have so many and I rarely use them. I much prefer to sculpt over using tips. I know that tips are easier, but my nails tend to curve downwards. So when I use tips, like there's so much glue always underneath. So I just, I don't find it convenient. I don't find it easier, but I really did like the shape of these ones. They seem so small. I have really wide fingers also, and I think that this might be the biggest. I'm not sure if it'll fit, but anyways, here's about the length of it. I like the uh, shape of it, if you can see, nice uh, coffin style. Yeah, this one says it's a size zero, and there's no way it's gonna fit my thumb. Anyways, I have these just in case somebody else wants me to do tips on them. And then I got these tiny tips here. And the reason that I got these is because every once in a while when you break a nail and you don't feel like um, you don't feel like doing a whole new structure, it would be nice to have something like this. So see how tiny it is, just about the same size as the one that I have now if it is going on my nail. So have a whole thing of that. And then we have some stamping plates. Is this the same one? Hold on. Let me just see. It is the same one, the 2Joy Plus 055. Okay, so I've been meaning to do a giveaway. I will throw this one in the next giveaway that I do. So it's the same one that I just showed you, ZJoy Plus 055. So I'll put this one to the side so I don't forget. And then we got this one here. This one is 2Joy Plus 071. And I like the, um, the picket fence here. I thought that that was so cute. And then you have all these flowers. You have the birdhouses. You have like these flowers here. I thought that that was so cute. You have this house here, you have this bow. So much you can use on this plate. And then is this the same peacock one? Let me just take a look. It is, oh my gosh, it's the same peacock one. Okay, so we'll put this one in the giveaway also. This is the 2Joy Plus 031. And then what else do we have? Let's move on to the next package. Okay, so in this package here, we have some patches, a packet full of patches. I like using these. I have the uh, Cricut, um, the uh, heat press. Um, so I like using stuff like this on like military style jackets or um, jean jackets. So these are the ones that I got. These three here. Oh, sorry, this way. Cool. And then in this next package here, okay, right. I already started using these. So what happened was I had ordered these and for some reason I only got one in the mail and I think it was a common issue because if you read the reviews for this, a lot of people were saying that they only received one of them. But anyways, it's a package of a whole bunch of different liner brushes. So this one here, for example, is 30 millimeters. 
So this is how long that is. I actually bought a whole bunch of liner brushes because I've been doing a lot more line work. And we have this one here, this one is 20 millimeters. This one actually broke on me. So if you see how thin it is, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's like three hairs because I went to go clean it and I ended up pulling the whole thing out. So I uh, used some nail glue to stick it back in. So I think it's fine for now and I guess we'll see. And if I broke it, then whatever, user error, I broke it, no big deal. Um, but yeah, so that is the 20. And then we have this one here, this is a 15. So it says at the bottom, which I thought was really convenient. So this one is a 15. And then it came with a seven, which is great for uh, putting top coat around crystals or crystal clusters. And then this one here is 25, another great length, nice and thin. And if you want to remove uh, some of the hairs, it's not that hard to do. So I'll put this in my little caddy there, have that all ready to go. And then it looks like I bought some more stickers. I guess these are tarot card stickers also. I don't know what I was thinking. It's one of those things like, what was I thinking an entire month ago? Oh, these are like paper and these are like more like waterproof. Anyways, not sure what I'm going to do with these, but um, looks like they have some cute stuff in there. So you have like the boss lady. What is that? The follower. Like these are not real tarot cards. The feminist, the cake, the wine. Maybe that's why I got it. The Wi-Fi. So they're all kind of cute. Okay, so that uh, the cookie. Okay, cool. So we have that. And then let's keep moving on. Okay, I saw somebody else haul this one also. I can't remember who it was, but it's another little mini. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. I've never had one come charged before. Um, so it's a little mini nail lamp. I thought that that would be really cool. Came with the cord and everything. So happy to have that. And then let's see what is next. Okay, it looks like I got more stickers. I, there had to have been something that I was thinking, and I'm sure I remember one day why I was thinking about buying a whole bunch of stickers, but here we are. I could put them on my laptop. Like these ones here I like a lot better. So really, really cute stuff. I like to make cards, so this would be really cute to put on some cards also. Basic Witch, that's cute. And then, ooh, this crystal ball says you're full of crap, basically. So these, these I really like. These I'm happy that I got. I probably got these to put on my work computer or something, my phone case. Either way, they're really super cute. Oh, I like that one. You are magic. Witchy and wild, moon child. Cool. Okay, let's move on to the next package. Okay, so clearly I've been on somewhat of a stamping plate kick. So these ones are all Mr. Fox. So this one is Mr. Fox LF06. So really super cool. I love like doing something like this in red would be really nice. This one here in black on an orange nail. This one here in black on an orange nail, really nice. I love this, this blood splatter. So that's really cool. And that's uh, Mr. Fox LF006. And then we have this one here, Mr. Fox LF010. Some really cute stuff, a lot of kitties. And then this one here, this one is Mr. Fox LG012, kind of that like poker vibe. Okay, and then this one here, which I found out recently that I ended up buying twice. I might already have this in my collection, but this is Mr. Fox LK003. Okay, so in this next package here, I already had a pigment follow. So it looks like we have a couple of pigments. Everybody's really into the um, glazed donut nails. So these are kind of the perfect thing for that. And look, like, first of all, look how pretty. Let's see if I can get it on my hand a little bit. If we could see how it would look. Can you see that iridescence? Imagine putting this in like a body cream and then like using it like on your legs or on your uh, chest area, that would be really cute. So this is more like leaning blue. And like, look how gigantic this is. This is so huge. And then this one here, oh, this one's a lot more full and this one's leaning a lot more pink. So let's, oh, wow. If I had a deeper skin tone, you could probably see it a lot better. Um, but yeah, that is just 
gorgeous. This would be like so perfect for um, those glazed donut nails. Okay, so we have those two. What else do we have in this package? Okay, so it looks like I got a couple of these pressed chromes. I always wanted one of these because I have so many of the loose ones and they get so messy and I don't know who I first saw come out with these, but I just thought it was such a genius idea um, because it keeps everything nice and together, nice and compact, easy for storage. So let's open this one up if I can. Does it even matter? Do I even have to open it up? I guess you all can kind of see it now. Okay, perfect. Um, so we have the silver, the gold, like a magenta, a pink, a purple, um, I mean, a red and a blue. So this is kind of everything that you would need. And then it looks like I got a pastel one also. Oh, this is broken. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, so that's cool. And then I have a pastel one also. Again, this pastel one would be perfect for the glazed donut designs. So you have your green, your yellow, your pink, your blues, your purple. Really cool. What more could you want? And then we're all going to pretend to forget about my glitter bin because I ended up buying a lot more glitter. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed, but also I have no shame. So we have this one here. This is dot glitter, but it's iridescent. So what's better than dot glitter? Iridescent gloss it. Um, iridescent dot glitter. Man, I had that so well in my head. Anyway, so if you see that, so they shine a little bit, a little bit of satiny, a little bit of iridescent. So love that. Happy to share some of this in the giveaway that I'm going to do. Most definitely. I have so many of these dang 50 gram bags that I don't know what to do with. But here we are. This one here, how perfect for this time of year. So it's all dot glitter. It looks like it has probably by mistake a few shards in here. Um, but you have your pink, your blue, uh, not pink, blue, pink, orange and uh, white in here. And as you can see, it has that bit of shine there also. Stunning. And then we have this one here, which I thought would be perfect for Easter. Uh, why did I say Easter? Halloween. I'm in the different, I'm in, blah, blah, blah. I'm so tongue-tied today. I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm <laughs> kind of forgetting how to speak. As if I don't speak on a regular day. Anyway, so we have this here. Perfect, perfect for Halloween. You have your purple, your white, your green, and your black. Love that. And then let's move on to another package. Okay, so in this package here, we have some stickers. These seem 3D, but I don't know if they actually are. Okay, they're not. So we have these ones here, these beautiful pink and purple butterflies. Like I love this, imagine that on a nude nail. And then we have this one here, which is, uh, this one feels actually 3D. So if you could see, it's just a little bit 3D. I don't know if you could see it. But anyway, so we have these coral flowers and then we have this like scripting here, which is really nice. Big fan of that this time of year. And then I got two of these um, because I've actually bought these before and used them. So I wanted to make sure that I had more on hand because I love the look that I did. If I have a picture of it, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But I don't always take pictures of my nails, which is the worst, because here I am trying to be a content creator. And I create content, and then I just don't post it. So I'm like the worst content creator ever. Anyway, so that is that. And then let's do another package. Okay, so in this package here, I'm actually... Okay, so here's the other one, the other Mr. Fox LK003 throw that into the giveaway pile and then I might actually end up putting these in the giveaway pile also because I had bought these honestly being cheap. I wanted to find something that was cheap that I could just throw my stamping plates in and then I realized that something like this would be so much better. So this ended up being a waste of money because I'm not I'm not sure that I'm going to use these. So I have two of them, one in uh, rose gold and one in um, hollow. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. If I'm not, I'm going to throw these in my next giveaway also. Okay, we'll do another package. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Oh, okay. I remember this now. This was like some sort of a lightning deal. And if I remember correctly, they were like five or six dollars and they had thousands of five star reviews. So these are um, 
like earbuds, like wireless earbuds. Um, so I thought maybe give them a shot. I don't know, why not? They were like, I don't know, some sort of a lightning deal. All right, and then we have more charms. Okay, so we have three of them. We have this one here, which is more on the pinky side. Let's open it up. Okay, so this is that, so you can see the beautiful iridescence on this. We'll pop it on a nail too, so that you can see what it looks like on the nail. Okay, so it looks like this one doesn't curve to the nail. So as you can see, you're gonna have to build it up just a little bit for it to stay flat. But still, like I think a really cute size. I like that. And then we have them in a few more colors. So this next one is kind of like an AB color, leaning more on the yellow side. So if you can see, same type of deal. We'll put this one on the nail also. This time we'll actually try to center it. Oof. There we go. So that is that on the nail. Okay, and then we have these orange ones here, leaning more on the coral side. So these are the coral ones. We'll pop it on the nail. And that is the coral one. Okay, so jumping into this next package here, it looks like I was on a little bit of a mushroom kick because we have more mushrooms. This one is all different colors of them. So let's just take a look. So I'm not sure if I got all the colors, but we have pink, we have the classic red, we have purple, we have yellow, we have blue. And I thought these were just so adorable. And I know that mushrooms are really trending in nail art and clothing and stuff like that now. So let's pop this one on the nail also. As you can see, this one doesn't curve to the nail, but it does sit really flush, so no concerns about that. Nice size would be perfect for a shorter nail or a longer one too. So that is everything. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, I hope you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, and as always, have an amazing day. Bye.